control your Arduino Uno using a smartphone via Bluetooth connection using Dabble apps. Hello, welcome back guys. So today in this video, I would like to explain about how you can use a PictoBlox and then uh, code your Arduino project using the Arduino and also HC05 Bluetooth module. And after that, we are going to control the LED. Uh, in this episode, we are going to control the RGB LED. All right, so let's begin. Let's learn about how this thing is being connected. So the first one, uh, this is the RGB uh, common uh, anode. And then I'm going to connect the um, RGB over there with the uh, three different wire which is 9 11 and 12 okay i got some error on my number 10 and then um, i'm going to connect the rx with the digital pin number three and then also the tx with the digital pin number two okay and then after that i begin to change the color so that all of you can um, theoretically um, differentiate what is the meaning of all those color and then the last uh, connection, the two last connection over there is actually talking about the VCC and also the ground. Let's learn about how the setup are going to be um, organized. And then we are going to learn about coding it using a picto blocks. So uh, let us go into the picto blocks for learning the coding of this particular example. So the first step, uh, of course, you have to go and navigate to your board. And then uh, please specify your board accordingly. In this example, I'm going to use the Arduino Uno. So if you're um, interested to use the Arduino Mega or Arduino Nano, please uh, welcome that. And then if you are also going to connect to ESP32, it is also available using uh, PictoBlocks. So a special credit goes to the PictoBlocks, the company who created this one under the Steampedia. So the next part is actually connecting uh, your Arduino Uno with the uh, connections of the USB port. So in this case, I'm going to connect this one and my Arduino Uno is already connected and then go to this uh, mode and then change from the stitch mode into the upload mode. As I explained to you in my previous video, if this is your first time using the PictoBlocks, please make sure that you are going to click this uh, upload firmware on the top left, sorry, on the top right corner of the picto blocks where you can see my cursor there and then after that you are going to navigate your cursor into the upload mode and then start up the coding part so the first step we are going to put the uh, arduino startup okay and then um, followed by this dabble so dabble is one of the um, uh, applications that is available in the app store and also the apple store it is very important and very helpful in terms of setting up your arduino project uh, for connecting via bluetooth or wireless so uh, the next step you have to set your bluetooth baud rate into 9600 and then followed by the control mechanism where we are going to put the forever block over here and then we are going to specify a specific control in this case, I'm going to use the if, if then. So uh, if something happened, then this is uh, what are going to be executed by our um, RGB behavior. So in that case, I'm going to uh, go and navigate into the table also and then proceed with this one. Is the data from the terminal I'm going to insert here and then I'm going to uh, spell it out as green. So uh, due to some reason, my voice is actually when i'm uh, talking to the google the green are going to be the big capital letter over here g r e e n therefore uh, please adjust according to your suitable pronunciation in the google translator because later on the google translator are going to translate this word and then uh, convert it into a command and specify a certain, certain um, argument so that the arduino can talk and understand and perform the action after that, go to Arduino Uno and then proceed with this uh, set digital pin. So um, I'm going to use the digital pin 9, 11 and 12. I got some problem with my digital pin number 10. I'm so sorry about this arrangement, but actually it uh, depends on your Arduino Uno. So after that, I'm going to duplicate and then put it down here and then proceed with the next one. We call it as a blue, B-L-E-U. So the blue are going to be connected, as I mentioned to you 
mine is actually at the digital uh, pin number 11 and then I'm going to set it as high. And then followed by uh, the last but not least is the command or the um, argument, sorry, you must put down here. And then this one is color, sorry, red color. So the reason of writing all this word is actually uh, based on your preference and setting up the translation based on your voice into the Google Translator package. So I already test it and then um, if I say red, uh, the word red is not R-E-D, it's different thing. That's why I'm specifying here as red color. And then um, you can proceed the another one, which is the last one, but not least is the off mechanism, where uh, when you say off, then um, all the LED are going to be off. So I'm going to put the double here is data from terminal and then I'm going to specify it as OFF off and then I'm going to uh, put the digital right and then the digital right are going to specify as a directions of um, all this code which is 9, 11 and 12 where the RGB is being inserted uh, into a different command where I'm going to specify this one for example 9 as low because we want to uh, disable the RGB or we want to turning off the RGB. So followed by the another one, which is the pen, uh, pin 11. And then the last but not least is the another pin 12. So all these things are actually depends on how you setting up your digital pin. So mine is actually 9, 11, 12. Uh, similarly with the off command, if I set something on the double after this, um, then the behavior of the code are actually going to turning off all the uh, LED RGB. So after you done all this, navigate your cursor into the upload code over here and then perform the upload function. Green. Off. Red color. Off. Blue. Off. So a special credit goes to PictoBlocks and also um devils under the steampedia company please visit their link in the descriptions of this video and then you can also download this um picto block file sb3 file at the description down here and then furthermore you can also copy and paste all this code that already being generated by picto blocks into your arduino uno ide hey guys that's all for this particular example hopefully you can try it on and then Please do suggest if you think that this project is good. Please do uh, like this video and then comment down there if you need any ideas about using a PictoBlocks and also what kind of experiment or what kind of projects that you want me to simulate. Hopefully, I can share with you some of the ideas, especially using the Arduino kit, uh, ESP module or other development board. With that, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, share and the most important thing, please do support me in these uh, particular videos by subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.